Assalamu alaikum. What Ramadan means to me is reflection because it's a month in which you know we have to reflect. It's, it's a month of mercy, so we have to reflect on how we've lived, how I've lived my life, you know, in the past year, and uh, you know, try and be better. And it's also a month of sacrifice because there's a lot of mercy in the month. So I try as much as possible to get as much reward as I can from the month. And uh, it's also a, a month of um, devotion. Like I keep myself in deep devotion and I try to do as much as possible to try and get closer to my Lord, to give up bad and old habits and generally be a better person. Uh, what, what makes Ramadan special, I would say, is you know, the feeling of coming together as one Ummah. You know, the whole Muslim community come together that month and, you know, strive in worship and devotion and in doing good to each other. So that's what I, that's what I feel makes Ramadan special for me. I, I intend to make the most out of this, this Ramadan because I feel sometimes our Iman goes down because I mean we're all humans and so this time around I am looking to boost my Iman and to try and get as much uh, as much reward as possible and to put in as many prayers as possible because we're I mean we're all adults people deal with a lot of things so these are some of the breaks you know uh, mental breaks and uh, religious breaks that we need you know to pump and get us going again so what, what I intend to do differently this Ramadan is I intend to spend more time in the mosque and to do more reading of the Quran. Because of uh, how busy our schedule gets sometimes, you know, as adults, we don't get as much time to read the Quran. So this time around, I'm trying to see if I can, you know, put in a lot of reading and spend more time doing zikr in the mosque. The, the other activities I do during Ramadan is I play football with my friends because we still want to keep fit, you know, despite us fasting. And I also get to spend a lot of time with my close friends because we invite each other to our homes to break the fast. So that also happens. Well, one of the biggest Ramadan traditions I have is, you know, for iftar, making the food salad. I am an expert at that, so most of the time for my family, I, I make the food salad. And then it's also become a tradition to visit close family and friends and break the fast with them. So that's also one of my biggest traditions. I usually break my fast with my family. Yeah, we all sit down together, you know, put the food in the middle and we all eat. And sometimes when I get invites from close family and friends, I, I go there. But it's mostly with family and close family and friends. Uh, yes, I try as much as possible to complete reading the Quran during Ramadan. I, I've been doing that for the past five, seven years, I think. And this time around, I intend to complete it more than once if I would have the time. Uh, the surah that I feel most connected to Allah is Ar Rahman. Because in the surah, Allah asks us which of you know, his favors do you deny and you know when you think about it it makes you you know reflect deeply and you know I mean that there's so many to thank Allah for there are so many favors good health family shelter food so that's the surah I feel connects me the most because whenever I'm feeling down or, and whenever I'm feeling down or you know a bit off when I think of the surah and I think of the blessings I have you know, everything changes and I feel more connection and more devotion to my Lord. Uh, no, I haven't attended Itikaf, but hopefully in the future I might. My most memorable Ramadan, I think, uh, is two years ago. So that was the, I, I spent the whole of it with my family and, you know, we had, you know, we cooked together and then ate together. And I think that's the year that I got many invites, you know, from my friends, because a lot of my friends recently got married, so I was able to visit a lot of them. And that was, that was I think, the first time I went to most of my friends' house. 
to it, so it was really memorable because it felt like we're progressing in life. I am a lecturer. I work with uh, Bayer University in Kano uh, in the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences. Well, my, my job offers me a lot of free time. Yeah, so it's, I would say it's quite easy. I, I don't have to juggle, I don't have to juggle so much. Uh, the, the act in which I devote the most time to is reading the Quran Tahajjud. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's the only time of the year in which we stay in full devotion, you know, stay all night long praying to your Lord. So I think the Quran and Tahajjud, that's why I devote most of my time to doing Ramadan. Yeah, in the last 10 days, it's, it's, a mix, it's, it's a mix of, you know, feelings and emotions because, you know, on, on, on one hand, you're, you're enjoying the month, you know, enjoying the blessings. And the last 10 days is when we have to strive and look for the little kajar. So you're actually even doing more than you've done in the previous 20 days. So, and then there's also that feeling of uh, nostalgia before it's even gone, you start missing it. And then there's also the feeling of sadness in which, you know, you feel that the month has come to the end. So it's a whole mix of emotions and, well, obviously happiness because, you know, I'm alive and well to have experienced Ramadan. So it's a whole mix of emotions. Uh, yes, I think I have let go of some habits, but what I would say I have gained more is you know the new habits in which i have picked up of doing you know more uh, voluntary prayers you know praying on time and you know still reading the quran because most of us just drop the quran after ramadan so that's one of the habits i pegged in which i have kept so i would rather focus on my gains what makes each celebration special i think is the fact that we would have to so is the fact that we spend it with our family and friends and also the new attires in which we sew and we have to wear so that's one of the things that makes it special you know coming out looking good and everybody being in a celebratory mood